Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC. We're here in Lugano, Switzerland, and I'm here with DK Panda from Ohio State University. How are you doing today, sir? Pretty good, Rich. Things are going good. Yeah, yeah. I mean, very special day. You were announced as one of the rock stars of HPC, so congratulations to you, DK. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks for uh, making this recognition uh, and announcing it in the, before my talk. Yeah, yeah. And so, uh, you know, we're, we're going to... Uh, come to you guys at the uh, GTC conference, GPUs, and I'm wondering if you could kind of put in perspective of your work, how do GPUs come into play when we're trying to scale computing? Yes, I mean, so GPUs are becoming very important. I mean, so as you know, we have been working on high-performance MPI and applications for now 16 years. And um, over the years, we have seen the GPUs coming, especially with uh, CUDA programming models. Uh, more and more people are trying to uh, take their applications into the GPU environment. Um, and uh, many of them are actually trying to use our MVAP is to optimized version for GPU. And, uh, and especially a lot of deep learning applications. So currently, in fact, in uh, my project, we have been optimizing a lot of these things for deep learning into our GPU stack. So we are trying to enable all these new kinds of applications. DK, I wanted to ask you a little bit about your background, because I don't know your backstory. When did you first get excited about computing, and especially, you know, high-scale computing? Um, I have been working since my uh, PhD study at uh, University of Southern California in uh, 1988 to 1991. Um, I actually did a lot of work on uh, uh, architecture um, studies of shared memory architecture. At that time, it was very important uh, during that time. And uh, since then, after joining Ohio State uh, for, since 1991, I've been there for 26 years now. And I have been working on, on all different aspects of communication architecture and networking. Um, the goal has been to really provide uh, scalable solutions. I did a lot of work on wormhole routing, uh, the very earlier generation of technologies which went into Create E3D, Create E3, IBM SP. Uh, we did a lot of work on Mirinet, Quadrix, the commodity cluster computing came after that. And, um, and of course, since 2000, we have been working on InfiniBand. So that has been continuing until now. So one last question, DK. You know, you and I have been kind of on this world tour, taking the HPC to these uh, HPC Advisory Council meetings. You obviously set a lot of time aside for travel. Why is that important for you to come out and, and tell people about this? Why do you make that a priority? No, I think as you know, I mean, so, um, I am an educator. Um, being a professor, um, uh, one thing I always see that I keep on educating people, not just the students, but also professionals. Uh, and uh, so many things are happening uh, these days in technology, uh, the HPC field. Um, every time I come to some place in the world, I mean, I see a lot of people want to learn. Um, so that has been one of my big motivation uh, to make sure that uh, people uh, learn all the latest technologies and uh, have good understanding and also reap the benefits. I think that is the end goal. We want to see that the community uh, move forward. We try to advance the science and engineering. So that has been one of the biggest motivation. In and, and you carry that forward with your open source contributions as well, don't you? Yes, yes. So, so this is the MRPs project, uh, which I've been working on um, uh, since uh, 2000. Um, currently, um, this uh, project is getting a lot of momentum. Um, uh, more than 2,700 organizations in 84 countries are using now. And as you know, over the years, we have enabled a lot of top 500 systems. In fact, the very latest uh, number one system as of now in Wuxi, China, uses our software stack. And so, so that has been a big achievement of my group, a lot of hardworking people who have been working nonstop for 16 years now, uh, trying to make the software available uh, to the community, not only for direct use, but a lot of other stacks are also being influenced by our design or adopting a lot of our design. So I think that is a, I feel that we are able to contribute to the, to the world. Well, great, DK. Well, hey, congratulations once again, and uh, please keep up the good work. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It is very nice talking to you.